Like it's because I'm still not used to it. I still look in the mirror and still am not used to it nor am I okay with the way that my hair looks, you know what I mean? And I can admit, I hate my haircut. What's up my gems? It's your girl Nathan Gem, y'all. I am back with another video. Um, y'all see the title. Y'all see me here. I hope y'all doing amazing. I hope y'all doing great. And I hope that y'all keeping a positive mindset and uh, everything like that. Because it's very important, especially in 2020 with everything that's going on. And, you know, in considering your own mental health, period. Um, I hope that you're doing great. Um, I know there will be many days like this, like expressing, like me feeling the way that I feel. Um, usually what I usually do, like when I'm feeling this way, I usually write. But for some reason I was brought to the camera. Honestly, for myself, I mean, I'm gonna admit to you, you know, I know there's gonna be days where I feel like this, you know. But today has been a very difficult day for me. Uh, a difficult, like, I don't know, like a self-reflection day. I've had trouble today. Um, I know there'll be days like this, you know what I mean? I really struggled today to find that beauty within myself. And I hate to even say that it's because of my hair. I hate to even say that, but I did struggle. Um, this is one of my first times deep conditioning my hair. And I can admit, I hate my haircut. That's just me being honest. It's not something that I wanted to do. So, um, me trying to get used to it, I know it's going to be a process. But, uh, I've been really beating myself up. And I'm trying to get myself in a more safe, understanding environment. But, you know, it's going to be a process. Because I am struggling with that right now. Like, necessarily, I don't really know my plans for my hair. But I know that there will be times like this. And, you know, I've gotten a lot of feedback on my recent video about, uh, Basically, like, a lot of people feel like this wasn't a big deal, or a lot of people also did feel like it was a big deal. So, I think I'm actually in the process of trying to stomach my traumatic experience. And when I look at my hair, it just gives me a reflection of it all. Yes, I can say I've been struggling. I may display a positive mindset because that's what I'm trying to shape my mind into. Um, I'm trying to keep myself in a more head-on area so that... Uh, I could be necessarily finding the positivity instead of the negativity. But I know this change has been very different for me. So I've been struggling a little bit. Uh, there's been a lot of tears. There's been a lot of emotions, a lot of anger, a lot of me being upset. Uh, but thankfully, one thing I can admit is I'm okay. Physically, I'm okay. Mentally, um, it's something I'm working on. Because like I said, my mental health does need some improvement. Especially now being in this predicament that I'm in. Um, I've been catching myself stuffing my head in my hood. Doing stuff like this, trying to cover it up. And one thing that, you know, my boyfriend Derek has told me is to embrace it. And I feel like I've been struggling with that a lot. I don't know, like, I don't know, like, how to go about growing my hair back out other than letting it grow. You know what I mean? I'm going to want to, I want my hair to match. I want it to all be even. I, I want a fro like I've had, you know, my whole natural hair journey. But I understand some things, some things happen to where you can't always get what you want. And, you know, there's a lot of people that's been saying, you know, this has been a humbling experience for you or, you know, things that have been rude, things that have been very considering I've heard a little bit of almost everything. I'm just trying to keep my mind in the positive place uh, to make sure that I can set myself up to be good with myself. I can be okay with the person I look at in the mirror. I guess that's the start. I'm getting used to seeing myself like, uh, like it's because I'm still not used to it. I still look in the mirror and still I'm not used to it, nor am I okay with 
the way that my hair looks, you know what I mean? I'm just praying to uh, get better with myself. And get more confident of myself. And not to think that I really necessarily need my hair. But of course, this is going to be something that I got to compare myself for. And I feel like that's what a lot of people have mistaken it. This was not, I wasn't prepared for something like this. So I feel like at this moment while I be speaking, God is humbling me. And put me in the area that I need to be in. Yes, I'm fucking cry, baby. I know that. Yes. People's like, why is she crying over her? Because it's a part of me. I'm really thankful for um, a lot. I can't really say everything that it is, but I really am. Only one that's gonna be able to solve this issue, this inner issue that I'm having, is me. And so, the only thing that sucks to me is that I don't know exactly how I'm gonna figure it out. So, that's one thing that's been a little bit difficult for me. How, you know what I mean? I'm gonna figure it out, but it's just how. How am I gonna go about this new change? Of course, it starts by getting used to it. And this is, as you see right now, it's the process. I really am thankful, y'all. Like, regardless of me crying, like I said last time, regardless of me being sad, I really am thankful. Because I know there's other people that went through this situation. Like, there's people all across the world. And I'm not the only one that this happened to. So, I'm very thankful that I was able to get the outcome that I did get, you know. Like I said, I could have lost my head. I could have lost a piece of my head. I could have had to get scalp surgery. I could have had to get skin implants. I could have had to do all of that stuff. But thankfully, I did not have to do any of that. And I'm very thankful. Like, I really am. So, for real, y'all, um, I think, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video. But I just really wanted to just give an update and tell y'all the truth, like, about how I'm feeling. The truth about what's going on inside of my head right now um no i'm not gonna make my whole channel about me being sad over my hair no uh i'm gonna just show y'all my process you know my hair growth my hair difficulties my new hair routine scalp routines everything um haircuts i even plan on honestly y'all i'm really gonna cut my hair down on this side I'm thinking about it uh, I feel like that's playing a part in the situation as well but yeah y'all I'm about to get ready to get off here um, and conclude this video for all uh, I sincerely want to thank everybody who supports me from the bottom of my heart it means a lot to me I thank you for all the positive Instagram messages and everything like that like y'all don't understand me going through what I'm going through I feel like you honestly need a lot of support and a lot of words of encouragement because like I said I'm going through this point where I'm feeling defeated right now but I know I'm going to overcome I always overcome you know what I mean I've been through some very dark in some very dark areas you know what I mean I lost my mother so you telling me losing my hair is going to stop me no it's not it's just another step and point you know what I mean it's another step to go over so yes I'm crying about my hair now but you know, a year from later, I'm going to be flourishing that newly growth, grown hair with them popping curls and stuff. So, it's a process. And, you know, y'all got to understand it. And so, I feel like that's honestly really why I'm blogging a lot of this. Uh, so, y'all can understand the process. Everything don't come fast. There's a lot of stuff that takes time in this life. There's a lot of stuff that will hurt you in this life. There's a lot of stuff that you just will have to just do a whole turnaround and recover from. And that's just how it is. That's just how this life works. And that's why my best advice is that, you know, just be prepared. You know, being prepared is the most difficult because you don't know what you're preparing for. You just got to make sure you stay ready because if you stay ready, you don't ever have to get ready. I wasn't ready, unfortunately. But y'all, don't forget to like, comment, hit that bell, show me some love, drop a nice positive comment, y'all. Check me out on all my platforms. Um, yeah, keep being great, amazing, positive people and great things will come in return y'all i'm out of here peace